last month on a quiet Sunday afternoon in the Cumbre Vieja National Park, an extravagant eruption began. Since then, nothing has stood in the way of this slow-moving lava on a home-destroying, farm-flattening, pool-dipping rampage to the Atlantic Ocean. It's an event that the Spanish island of La Palma hasn't seen in 51 years, but it's not completely out of the ordinary. See, La Palma only exists because of volcanoes. It sits in an archipelago, or group of islands, called the Canary Islands, which formed millions of years ago from a hotspot volcano. They occur over a really hot part of the Earth's mantle, the layer that sits beneath the thin, cool crust that we live on. The hotspot melts rock into magma, which can push through the cracks in the crust, and over time can create islands. Think Hawaii, or Iceland, or, you know, the Canaries. So the 85,000 people living here in La Palma are pretty used to having volcanoes as their neighbours. There are even advantages, like fertile volcanic soil, perfect for growing bananas, and the island's tallest volcano even has a world-famous observatory perched atop it. Every year, plenty of tourists flock to La Palma to see the stars, the beaches, and the volcanoes, of course. But locals also have to live with the threat of a big eruption, like this one. Luckily, no one has been injured, and more than 6,000 residents were told to evacuate their homes before the lava came through. It's almost like they knew the eruption was going to happen before it did. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. In the weeks before the eruption, more than 22,000 mini earthquakes were detected in the Cumbre Vieja National Park. And scientists were pretty sure something wicked was brewing. The quakes meant lots of pressure was building up and magma was ready to spew out onto the surface. And spew out it certainly did. Now more than 1,000 buildings have been destroyed and 10,000 people have had to pack up everything they can and leave. It won't stop. That's my one big fear that we're only just seeing the beginning. The first two days were very uh, horrible because there was a lot of dust coming down. Some rivers of lava have made their way out to sea and scientists are testing the giant gas clouds to make sure they're not toxic. Meanwhile, other cracks have opened up releasing new rivers and threatening even more homes. People who are still on the island are having to deal with ash constantly raining down and the background rumbles of the volcano. Nobody really knows how long this eruption will last, so you might be seeing these incredible pictures for the next few days, weeks or even months. <laughs>